Is the story you're about to see true? Well, no one really knows. No one as yet has been able to prove or disprove it. And so it remains in limbo, a part of that vast, uncharted world of psychic phenomena beyond our powers of explanation. Laughter is an international language, and the clown, the prince of laughter. He is a universal phenomenon. He's as old as man's culture. He always has been and always will be with us. He's the heart and the essence of the circus, or the festival, the carnival. Always the very center of noisy, happy crowds. It's the same everywhere. China, Russia, Germany, Italy, America. But where does the gaiety disappear to when the festival is over? The circus ended, the carnival closed for the night. What happens to the droll man in the ridiculous costume? The carnival grounds are empty now. And the shrill piping voice of the calliope, still. The performers in their trailers are speaking in hushed tones. Because something happened here tonight. Something that was so bizarre that even the normally superstitious carny folk found it almost impossible to believe. Just a few hours ago, the first shadow fell. A psychic shadow. We could have some fun. I said if you behaved yourself. Well, didn't I? Come on. Look, a clown! <laughs> Look, a clown. A putty nose and a grease paint smile. The man inside the clown? Anonymous. X. But that doesn't matter because usually the only function of the clown is to make us laugh. Usually. Double ride. Now let me see. What am I going to have? Now you ain't going to have anything, little girl, till I see some sort of identification. <laughs> I'm a married woman. Well, I'm his wife. Look. And of age. Well, sorry, but that's the rule. Don't you worry. We all make mistakes. Anyways, I just want a, a pop. Sure. You know, you had me there for a minute. I thought he was your, uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? And who asked you? Why don't we sit down? I'll bring you your pop.
put up a sign, available. Well, honey, I didn't do anything, not a thing. Oh, no, not you, not a thing. Look at you. Look at you. I'm telling you, Nani, one of these days you're going to drive me too far, do you understand? I am so sick of watching you put on that nice, sweet act. Listen to me. I'm listening, I'm listening. Can I have a candy bar? There you go again. Every man, every, every one of them. What's the matter with you? Why do you act like that? Walk like you do. Be like that. Like what? Like you are. Well, how else can I be except like I am? You're cheap. You're cheap. Insult 1,275. I know it the first time I saw you, too. Remember out there on the road, the old man's fruit stand, you selling peaches? <laughs> peaches. I said to myself, she's fresh as a peach herself. But look out. Wrong. Wrong, and still I fell for it, didn't I? I had to have you. Sorry. <clears throat> Can I have that candy bar? You don't listen, do you? I talk, but you don't listen. I'm listening, Tom. I'm listening. You want to fudge here or something? All I want is, is that you act decent. Do you understand? Can't you see what it's doing to me? <laughs> You're getting great there, and there. Stop it! There. That's why you're so mean. that makes up for a thousand words. A million, in fact. <laughs> oh, would you like my hair? My pretty soft hair? I like it, too. I sure do. I guess maybe I oughtn't to say that. But it's real nice, like silk. You... Go ahead. Feed it all you like. Didn't I tell you it's smooth and silk? <laughs> must be sweet to have someone like you around. Someone who never says anything mean and nasty. And leave my wife's hair alone. He's just sweet. Yeah, he's just sweet like all the others. He likes isn't he? my hair. He's real honey. sweet. He's a nice clown. He likes your hair. It's lovely hair, isn't it? Nice. It really is lovely hair. There. You like her hair? Well, here. Have it. Oh, here. You can have it. Now feel it all you want. 
Nobody opens that door till the police get here. But Buck said he saw the Buck whole thing. Buck was shooting off his mouth. Yeah, but I caught him red-handed, I tell you. I saw him with my own eyes. I don't care what you saw. Pippo couldn't do a thing like that. Anybody knows Pippo wouldn't hurt a fly. He's big, he's dumb maybe, but... But he, I saw him. He could talk for himself. When the police get here, he can write down what happened. Oh, that poor innocent girl. Stabbed with them wicked scissors of his. I always knew there was something wrong with that Pippo. You mind your own business. All right, back to work. Let's break it up. Come on. Hey. 
Look at that dummy. Look at his face. Grinning. Just grinning. As if it was some big joke. Usually his only function is to make us laugh. It is certainly not to disturb the secure curtain of reality, which hides from our eyes what. And if it makes you more comfortable to consider all that has happened merely an illusion, well then by all means you be comfortable. But the definition of illusion is that which is unreal. Now, the clown was soaking wet, wasn't he? And that's reality. And the clown never left this trailer. And that's reality. And the prison cell in which Tom Reagan will spend so many years, that is most certainly reality. But, as I said, be comfortable. In a moment, something about next week. Next week, and every week, we'll be bringing you the personal records of the rarest kind of human experience. Man's adventure in the world of the unknown. That mysterious psychic world beyond our five senses. This is your invitation to take with us that astonishing one step beyond. Yeah.